Hello everyone, welcome to Next Gen AI Academy. Hope you are doing good. In this video, we are going to start new video series that is Matplotlib. We have already learned NumPy, Pandas, Python libraries. Now we will learn how to interpret those data with the help of Matplotlib. The agenda for this video, first we will learn what is data visualization and importance of data visualization. Then we will start the matplotlib. Once we are done with that, we will try to plot the graph, a simple sine wave using pyplot and object oriented interface. Data visualization. It is the process of conveying the information with the help of plots and graph. That is, we will get all the numerical or categorical data as input and finally display the output in the form of charts or figures or sometimes tables. Why we have to follow like this? First of all, when we able to visualize the data like bar chart or pie chart or box plot it will be very easy for us to analyze and visualize the data clearly from this we can make a concrete decision so it will be very useful to take the decisions for example let's consider the grouped bar chart you just do the comparison between male and female in different areas, maybe like job, healthcare sector, IT sector. So when you do the comparison and project as a graph, then it is easy for us to understand or visualize or interpret the data. We will get a very good insight about the data. So that's very important about the data visualization. And second point, even the complex data you can able to understand easily by converting those data into the charts. In data science, almost all the projects we deal with the complex data. So definitely data visualization will be very useful. And third important point, it is easy for explaining to non-technical users what that means. When you consider any data science project, most of them will be a non-technical user. It may be a client, it may be a manager, or so many members involved in the team may be a non-technical user. So we can't go and explain our code to them. Rather than we can create a very interactive charts so that any person who doesn't have an idea about the data can also understand about the project now you can understand how much the data visualization plays a virtual role in any project not only in data science you take any project at the end they have to present to the clients with the help of charts only okay let's begin the matplotlib so when you want to do data visualization one of the best python library is matplotlib the matplotlib is the basic plotting library of python programming language and python is the easiest programming language so learning matplotlib will also be very easier and uh, second point it is one of the most popular python package used for data visualization because of its syntax and very easy to understand and implement all charts with just few lines of code and it is written by john d hunter in 2003 and uh, another important thing matplot supports both two-dimensional and also three-dimensional plotting we know very well as human we can able to visualize still 3d only it's impossible to visualize 4d or 5d so when you want to project the data, we have the option to display as 2D and also 3D. Animational charts can also be created with the help of matplotlib. And next point, 
Mini Python libraries are built on the top of Matplotlib. For example, Pandas, Seaborn are built above the Matplotlib. So if you know already Pandas, in the Pandas library itself, we can plot the graph very easily. We'll be seeing that very soon with practical example. And this point is very important. Uh, when you consider 10 years back, MATLAB is one of the best tool for visualization even now. But one drawback about MATLAB is you have to pay for it. It's not a free software. It's a commercial software. To replace this MATLAB, we can clip matplotlib along with numpy so that it is free. Before we start technically, we have to understand few terminologies about the graph. Usually, if you go and see in all our textbook, they used to call each diagram as figure 1, figure 2, figure 3. Same way, here also we refer everything as a figure. When you consider any figure, definitely it must have the title of the figure. And second, if you consider any graph, definitely we will have two axes. One is x axis, another one is y axis. Same way, this is considered as an x axis and this one considered as a y axis. That is, horizontal is considered as an x axis and vertical is considered as an y axis. And each axis will have its own label what is for x axis and what is for y axis so we will use x axis and y axis label then for plotting the graph for each value of x what is the value of y like that when we plot with a dot symbol like this that we call it as scatter plot and sometimes if you want to explain something with a line or a curve, we'll call that as a line plot. Sometimes we will have a bar graph. That is also possible. We have so many types. We will be learning one by one. Then next important point is whenever we have more than one entity for comparison here, blue and red is there. We use the legend. What is the name of blue line what is the name of red line that can be mentioned like this that is called legend then another important one is grid with the help of grid that is this dotted line in, in the background it will be easy for us to visualize the data so for example what is the lowest point of this curve means i can say x is 1.5 y is 0.5 so it is very easy for me to interpret the data if we use the grid as of now you no need to worry about this major tick minor tick and all so we have to give always title x label y label and don't forget to mention the legend if you want you can mention the grid so that's about the parts of a figure the next topic let's try to plot this graph using two ways one is pie plot interface another one is object oriented interface what that mean always the first step is import the matplot library import matplotlib this line will import the matplot library but in that we are going to use the pie plot interface so dot pie plot but we can't keep on coding this in all the place so what i can do is i can type as alias plt so going forward instead of typing the big syntax like this i can mention plt almost all the data scientists will use plt only for pandas it will be pd for numpy it is np same way for matplotlib they will use plt then this line of code is an optional code that is percentage mat 
plot lib inline so what this code will do after executing the code below the code itself you can see the visualization of our figure for that this piece of code will be included in all the program but in the latest version even if you don't mention this line it will display but just one line no we can add it because if some machines having older versions of anaconda package it may not display the graph so it does for safer side let's include this line that is percentage matplotlib in line now let's try to code the sine wave so sine wave means when you consider x and y axis you will have like this so this is called sine wave it starts from zero and like this it will come now we are going to plot for each value of x what is the value of y then we will plot this graph first let's try to execute this line that is import the matplotlib it is executor the next step let's use the numpy so import numpy as np then what is the value of x x equal to np dot range function between 0 and 10 value with 0.1 increment y equal to np dot sin x now you no need to type this full line rather than plt plt dot plot x comma y that's it execute now the graph is generated for each value of x between 0 and 10 the respective y values are generated and finally that is converted into the curve and this is x axis this is y axis but still we have to label the x axis plt dot x label x is the angle then plot the y label y axis i can say that as a sign then we have to give the title plt dot title it's a sine wave now you can type plt dot show execute see our final output the label of x axis the label of y axis and a title let's try to include the grid so plt dot grid true for both the x and y axis and if you have any doubt shift tab it will give what are all the parameters whether for both the axes you can glance this content if you want to understand about grid method now let's execute so we got our expected output with grid lines this is how we can plot the sine wave with the help of pyplot interface the same code we can able to plot using the object oriented interface so i am reusing the same code we already imported it so no need to import again now an additional step creating the figure and axis so figure i am declaring to a variable plt dot figure then axis ax equal to plt dot axis here we are creating the figure figure means like this then creating the axis x and y axis now everything will be saved to ax so ax dot plot x comma y now also we can able to generate the plot same way let me try to add other parameters so ax dot set underscore title sine wave x dot 
set underscore x label angle x dot set underscore y label sign x dot grid true comma which equal to both then you should not type ex dot show you have to type plot dot show just execute now also we can able to generate the sine wave let's see what is the difference the first one we did with pi plot this pi plot interface will automatically create the figures and axis the diagram generated here is automatically and its sizes and all we can't define it but using the object oriented interface we can explicitly create the figure and axis and you can modify the diagram as per your wish it's like you want to generate the figure according to your own requirement then the best way is to go with object oriented interface for me uh, shapes and that size is not important let it generate automatically means you can use the pipe plot it's up to you and you can see both the object oriented interface and pipe plot interface are equally powerful and you should feel free to use either it's up to you even inside the object oriented interface we can use the pipe plot command also the reason why i taught both the syntaxes in most of the project some may follow this way some may follow this way don't get confused almost both of them are equal it's up to the user they can follow any format hope you got a good clarity about this topic that's the end of this video thanks for watching happy learning